Good morning, everyone. Joella May here. Don't forget to like and subscribe at the bottom. I know, I'm in my car, what? Like, I always do these videos from my bed, like right after I do my meditation. So, today is day 14. I am running so far behind schedule. Yeah, I'm out of my house, that's the first thing to recognize. I'm talking to you for super, super fast because I'm driving, I'm totally in my head on this. Yeah, okay. Now we just cross the street, like intersection, all that energy is slowing down. I'm just on the road as me, just got a car coming by. Okay, could be that, could be that. All right, a little bit better. Just focus on the truck ahead of me and keep moving forward. You're like, what? I'm like, my energy um, connections are through the roof at the moment because I'm doing everything quickly. I yeah, I even, even had to stop in the middle of my shower to go poop. <laughs> I was like, yo, man, this is not fun. And, you know, because when you get that slippery, super slippery, wet butt, and it doesn't want to stay on the toilet seat, and you feel like you're falling in the toilet, yeah, that was not fun at all. It made it very difficult. <laughs> Didn't think that would be the first thing I talked about, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, today's meditation. So, let's um, backtrack just a little bit. If you've been watching me, you know that last night I was painting. I stayed up all night again painting. Yeah, until 7 in the morning. I promised myself I was only going to try to do 4 hours. Yeah, try. That's the key word, try. It doesn't happen that way, you know, right? <laughs> yeah, see that's, that's, that's the thing. Words play a huge part in our lives and we don't even realize certain words we use stop us from doing other things like last night I said yeah I'll try to get to sleep on time so it didn't happen because I used that word try I didn't say I will or this will be what it will be or whatever it's the phrasing it always makes a difference and we don't always pay attention to word context because we are used to using the words that we grew up hearing <clears throat> unless you're an avid dictionary reader and you get into all that you know it's one way or the other personal preference is what it will be and I know I could have turned I think it was that street I could have turned oh well coming up to the light yeah <sighs> never done a video while driving before so first for everything Today is day 14 of my 60-day guided meditation inspired by Dr. Joe Dispenza. Oh, that's a big semi-truck. Dang, for all it's outside. Cars not coming in the three directions. Okay, we're good. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I live in a, a five-minute town. It's really a two-minute town, but because of the speed limit, it's, it's kind of takes five minutes. But maybe not. I don't know. I guess after this recording, I can check it out. And then I can really know how long it takes to drive through the town. Because, let's see, before I made that turn there, that was uh, where we turned into town, technically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my town doesn't have a... Huh? Every time I see um, the truck my husband has, especially in the color, I just like feel a certain type of way and that one had the camper top on it so I was like double awe because we always wanted to get that but anyway oh yeah I'm only still in town because we're at a dead stop um, I'm about to get to the light to turn out of town mm -hmm. very small place but you know with today's technology I guess it doesn't really matter yeah where things are back to meditation so i didn't get to do meditation like i like to do so i did last night i'll put it in the link i put on uh, i think it was a seven hour one it wasn't the 11 hour one that i used before um i forget the title of it oh wow so my truck is going the same way i am well it is really only two main roads, one way or the other, north or south, east or west. <clears throat> um, so on the 
meditation, I just kind of passed out once I was done painting because I stopped at like 7 in the morning. I like forced myself to stop because I was knocking out. Like I still had some of the white on the palette and I really hated losing that white because that was the last of my titanium white with the Liquid X, my favorite paint. But anyway, <laughs> ramble rambles. Today is kind of going to be a full collective because, yeah, I'm running like the therapy, therapy, my chakra therapy. But let's close up on the meditation part. Um, so this morning, as the meditation was still playing when I woke up, and so I, I lied there and listened to it for a while, but it was just more the music than his words because it didn't get to, it wasn't at that middle point yet so I didn't hear his words again or if they were there I was too out of it to hear it <clears throat> but it helped me stay more rested and focused in my sleep and I'm still on the same groove that I was from last night um, like my things haven't changed I just got a little bit of sleep and now I'm going so I really haven't this is 7 a.m. got a alarm started going off at 11 so I only got three hours sleep that's why I'm so much in my head right now just to get to point A to point B and then once I get there I'll collapse on the table <laughs> and hopefully um yeah today is going to be intense because there's so many different things um going on today um is today the 28th so it's an 8 that's one thing um and then so I just started my cycle the new moon is coming up and this new moon is um I forget but I know it's the one after Libra so whatever I'm not sure how the moon signs work over the sun signs if they go in the same order or not because I get confused sometimes but um I know this month is supposed to be more about releasing conflicts and things and letting go and stuff like that. Maybe it just goes back and forth. I don't know. I, still, I haven't studied it. I just kind of like analyze it as it processes as I learn things and then go and talk about them. Um, eventually I'll put it all into paper, into paper, onto paper. Yeah. <laughs> I'm driving, so <laughs> I'm going to have more bloopers than usual. At least it's a nice, long, straight road. Mm -hmm. And I can kind of put the cruise control on. So, yeah, because I only have the semi in front of me, and yeah, it's probably about almost 300 feet in front of me. It's going fast. I don't need to go that fast. It's definitely going more than the speed limit. <laughs> See, being outside around this, I can't really, it's hard to slow down to stay on task. Person checking their mailbox, feel all that. Oh, they had some crazy tension in their lower back. It's weird, the things you can pick up on, just on, on the distances. I've been with myself so much that I can feel more and more of other people's energies, like, just passing by them. Oh, the hair is really bothering my face today. That's no fun. Yeah, sometimes when my hair touches my face, I feel like I want to scratch it off. It's crazy. I don't know why it bothers me so much sometimes. So, yeah, when I get home, I'm going to redo the meditation and then probably do another video because this one is a, comp a combination, yeah, a combination video of, um, meditation, yoni update, therapy update, <laughs> yeah, um, the 
discussing the new moon a little bit. Yeah, we're, we're bouncing around on a bunch of different topics in this video today since I'm driving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a 32 minute drive, so I'll probably talk, I'm going to guess 29 minutes or less because <laughs> it took me a little bit to get on the road. <clears throat> First getting out of my house, there's no reception, so I live on a dirt road. It's all good. I like the peacefulness, but it's really not that quiet. I have neighbors. Yeah, I can't touch the house from moving outside, but I can see their house from my porch, kind of. At least one of them, not all of them, just one. <laughs> okay, kind of go through the circle, catching back up on speed. <clears throat> So I think we finished the update on the meditation part, but we're going to get back to it when we get home. Um, as far as the Yoni update, I'm not really flowing yet. It's kind of, I mean, it's there, but it's like not really doing much. So I am still in free flow. Um, I'm just wearing jeans. I don't think I'll bleed out at all. I'm not really concerned about it. It's interesting feeling. It's definitely an interesting feeling knowing that I'm in flow and not wearing anything to plug myself up with. That is definitely interesting. Um, I have to say this is probably the first time that I can remember offhand right now starting my period and not wearing anything going outside. Um, I guess for the past, where are we, April? Three months? I've been home throughout my cycle. I haven't left my house during my cycle. So this is the first time I'm leaving my cycle and I've been in free flow for three months now. Um, yeah, I started my cycle during the split on New Year's. And that was the last time I, um, if I plugged myself on the drive home, I can't remember. Um, yeah, because I was there for a couple of days packing. It wasn't like break up and leave. I still wish I stayed one more day to get some more of the furniture and the car since it's been four months and still hasn't brought the rest of my stuff because when I left he said I'll bring it in two weeks never happened it's frustrating it's very very frustrating the story is the truck needs a new clutch and he has to make money for it so that was four months ago it's an old story now but I'm just trying to let go that's that's my biggest emotional attachment to everything because that one bookshelf was from my first husband and I that we bought before my son was ever conceived. And so it, it's, yeah, it's older than my son and I wanna make sure he has it. It's the one thing that his dad and I bought together, you know. And of course, the furniture I got from my brother and sister are there too. Um, so it's all emotional attachments and all the mirrors that I was gonna use for my studio. Anyway, okay, let go of that rant. It's not what this is about. But we are in the Yoni, and Yoni is about letting go. So if you let go of these things, I need to speak it out. Oh, it's such a beautiful body of water. I wish I could take a picture of it for you. Mm. Now, that's the one thing I love about this drive, is here and there I get to see the lakes and stuff. Um, maybe I'll stop at the creek again and do a bit. Just gotta make sure I'm more careful because the last time I did the vid on the way home, I did a slip and fall. Yeah, I did. Didn't hurt myself too much. I did, um, did think I lost some crystals there because I couldn't find them in my pocket. Checked my pocket 15,000 times that day. And then a week later, I picked up my jeans and then they fell out of my pocket. So I think that. Uh, fairies were playing with me, so they gave them back, they used them for something else, I don't know. I was just glad to have them back. Um, yeah, I was 
rushing out so much today. I didn't bring any of my crystals or anything with me. I did use my smudge spray when I got in the car. And I do have my rose water with me. So, And they have so much stuff in the store. I usually use the samples before I leave every time. And I got my rose petals sitting in the water waiting for my bath. So once I'm done and then I do my cleansing process, blah, blah, blah. yeah, I'm super excited about that. I've been collecting the rose petals for two days. Oh, there's the creek. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll come by there later this afternoon after therapy. up ahead and the truck was flashing lights so I was a little confused for a second but they're just sitting there yeah and the sun with the bling bling that's so funny yeah so we updated the Oni preparation for aftermath of therapy um, yeah so we're just driving to therapy right now this will be my third therapy session um, so I'm really excited. My first one, that was intense. Like, it was so painful crying. The second one was all about back pain and releasing that. I did some crying, but not like in the first one. In the first one, it was like everything, like, my legs were flaring and everything. My, it was hurting out through my bones. Because in the first one is when we had to did all the cord cutting. Uh, I think my phone is overheating from the sun. So I'm going to let you guys go. I love you so much. I'm almost to therapy. And i uh, give you an update when I'm done. Thank you. Remember, I do love you. And I love me. And right now I'm taking care of me. So you take care of you. Have an amazing grand rising. Oh. Let's see. It's hard to see because uh, multi-window closed. What does that mean? I don't know. I guess that's all it was telling me. It wasn't overheating. See, I put my glasses on so I don't have to hang up just yet. That's cool. Whew. Yeah, I'm still so much in my head. I have so much to release. I think I do need to go back to the music and let myself go for a little bit before I get to therapy. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So I am going to go back to listening to Marin Hill Got It Sway. Sway Got It, Got It Sway. I don't remember which one's the album and which one's the song. <laughs> anyway, love you. Grand Rising beautiful souls. That's what I was missing on my ending. I just, I wasn't, yeah. When you're in your head, it's hard to say what you want to say and things just kind of float around in front of you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Love you. Mwah.